guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about fractions and decimals. These are both important in our everyday lives. First, let's talk about decimals. Let's find out where we can see or use these decimals. We can learn decimals in groceries or supermarkets. Most of the shelf or price tags have decimals in it. see decimals and using a stopwatch. 7.97 is the seconds. The seconds as a decimal. In measuring weight, we can also use decimals. For example, another example is after Christmas or New Year, of course, we have a feast. And then when you weigh yourself and oh my gosh, you weigh 30.50 kilograms. When we look at the average grade on our report cards, we sometimes see decimals. At the gasoline station, the prices are also reflected as decimals. Last, but not the least, of course, money or currency. In the Philippines, it is called centavos, but in the UIE, it is called fills. Let's open my Lego bank. Okay, let's sort this out. This is the Wonder Home, exactly Wonder Home. Put that there. Okay, let's just sort this again. This is 25 centavos. This is for 2018. And this adds up to one peso. This is 5 centavos. As you can see, there is a hole. So this adds up to 35. 35 centavos. This <laughs> This is 10 centavos. One. 1.45. This is 25 fills. This adds up to 1 dirham and 50 fills. This is 50 fills. This adds up to 4 dirhams and 50 fills. Added up together equals 6 dirhams. The decimal point separates the whole number from parts of the whole. So remember, when adding or subtracting decimals, always line up the decimal point using a column, addition, or subtraction. Put zeros for whole numbers so you won't get confused. And always remember to put the decimal point in the answer as well. What about fractions? We can use fractions in telling the time. Each minute is a fraction of the hour. Like half past two, which means 2.30. 
Another example is quarter to five or quarter past four. A quarter is one-fourth of an hour. So quarter to five is 4.45, which means there's 15 minutes left to five o'clock. Quarter past four means 15 minutes have passed four. So the time is 4.15. Fractions are also used in cooking, but mostly are used for baking to tell how much of the ingredients we should use. Fractions are also seen in grocery or the supermarket, such as one half kilo of fruits, three fourths of meat, two thirds of fish. might also see them in restaurants, such as when you're eating a slice of bread or a fraction of a pizza. Did you know music is full of fractions too? It's true! Uh, there's also a half note, quarter note, and a one-eighth note. Fractions and decimals are similar because they both express partial numbers. Fractions can be expressed as decimals. For example, 3 fourths is equivalent to 3 divided by 4, which is 0 0.75. Decimals can be also expressed by fractions in tenths, hundreds, or thousands. We need both of them in order to measure things precisely. That's it for today guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button and we'll see you next time. Goodbye! Bakit wala ngang fresh? Then.